time for a story, time for a story, oh it's story time again, time together with a story as we sit beside our friends, time for a story, time for a story, oh it's story time again, time together with a story as we sit beside our friends. Hi, good morning everyone, it's another story time with Teacher Reg. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about the different animals that you can see in the rainforest. I'm not so sure though if you know this particular character from the story. But, let me tell you more about this character. Are you ready? Let us begin! Are you familiar with this animal? This is what we call Loris. If there's only one, we say Loris. But if there's a lot, you would say Lorises. Lorises are slow-moving animals that you can find in the rainforest. They have round face, they have small ears, and they also have this big round eyes. Their thick fur, sometimes it's color gray, but sometimes it's color brown. Now let me tell you a story about Doris the Loris. Are you ready? Let's begin! A Twinkle original story entitled Doris the Loris. Doris the Loris was a storyteller. From true stories to adventure stories and silly stories to love stories, Doris had a story for everyone. Every evening, Cam the Cuckoo sang to announce that story time was about to begin. Creatures from all around came to see Doris's tree and waited for her words to spark their imaginations. Late one afternoon, Poto the Pangolin was on his way to story time. He spotted Gita the Gibbon up in the trees. Why don't you join us for a story, Gita? Poto asked. Doris will sweep you away on adventures that you've never dreamed of. Hmm, I've told you before, swinging is all the adventure I need, said Gita. Stories are boring. I will change your mind one day, said Putu, as he trotted off. That day, Doris told an exciting tale of a tiger who had bravely rescued its friend from a rushing river. Great story, said Putu afterwards. It's a shame that I couldn't persuade Gita to come and listen. Mm, she never stopped swinging long enough to hear the whole thing, said Doris. If only we could find a way to take a story to her. It's funny you should say that, squack hearted the hornbill. I wish that I could take your stories home to settle my babies at night. I can never remember the endings. They headed off on their way, but an idea was forming in Doris's mind. She needed to find a way for her friends to take her stories with them wherever they went. Early the next morning, Doris headed off to put her plan into action. She found a big green leaf on the forest floor. I wonder, hmm, thought Doris. Doris tried to make marks on the leaf using mud, but it was too oozy. She tried to sketch marks using a stick, but the leaf kept tearing. Then Doris noticed some purple berries lying on the ground. A feather floated down from a nest above and she knew what to do. Doris spent the rest of the day working hard to create her first three books. To start with, she wrote an adventure story for Gita. It was about a gibbon setting a world record for swinging from the tallest tree. Next, she wrote a rhyming story about rhinos to give to the baby hornbills. And finally, she wrote a non-fiction book about Pluto's favorite tree, the rainbow eucalyptus.
she delivered the books and hoped that their readers would be as excited as she was. The next day, Doris had a surprise visitor. Putu was right, said Gita. Your stories aren't boring. It's great being able to read them on the go. Uh, do you have any more? Just then, Harta flew past. Thank you for the story, Doris, he shrieked. My babies have never slept so well. Do you have any more? A smile began to creep across Doris's face. Soon after, no one saw Doris for days, except for the glow worms whose light helped her to work through the night. Then one evening, Cam's call floated across the rainforest again. Story time, called Puru, running towards Doris's tree with a host of other creatures. He was pleased to see that Gita was swinging along with them. But Doris was nowhere to be seen. Instead, there was a sign on the door, and it says, Library this way. The creatures found Doris waiting for them all to arrive. And there, in the tree beside her, were hundreds and hundreds of books. Every story that Doris had ever told was captured on beautiful green leaves along with some brand new ones. You can come and borrow them whenever you like, said Doris. Then, when you have finished, just bring them back for someone else to read. The creatures were thrilled and the new rainforest library was soon buzzing with readers. There was a book for everyone. Doris became the first ever rainforest author and librarian. She had found her dream job, which is bringing happiness to all of her friends every day through the magic of reading. And that is the end of our story. I hope just like Doris, you will never give up in reaching for your dreams. And I hope you will continue to bring happiness not only to your friends and family, but also to yourself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone!